But now, what's above the scoreboard is getting a lot of attention. That W flag that's been flying quite often this season. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli is live in the loop where that W seems to be everywhere, Vince. Good evening, Erica. As you walk around town, it's hard not to notice that more and more folks are flying the W, and why not? W stands for win, and the Cubs sure are giving us a winning season. Take a look at this great big W flag that's flying over the lobby here at the Citadel Building on South Dearborn. We were lucky earlier today because we had a chance to travel to the factory where many of these flags are born. In a banner year for the Cubs, they're helping us fly the W. Well, we've made over 3,000 in a lot of different sizes. Advertising Flag Company has been commissioned by the team to silkscreen and dry, stitch and sew the winning banners we've seen displayed all across the city, some as large as 26 by 48 feet. The proportion of the letters and that cubby blue needs to be just right. They don't want the W too fat. They don't want the, the, the color of blue to be off on a shade. Many have listened across the globe as the Cubs encourage us to fly the W. But when did this all start? Terry Friedman Beecher, you got the year right, 1937, so kudos to you. During our Facebook Live chat today, we learned it all began in 1937 when a W flag was flown above the scoreboard to mark a win for L passengers riding by. If you're flying the W somewhere in front of your house, at your office, uh, on your computer screen, uh, send us a, a picture of it. Paul Qualia is flying his W banner in front of his home in Westmont. So is Lisa Toppel in Antioch. I love this picture. Um, Susan Romano took this picture. She's walking around, all walking around all over town with a little W flag, and then she puts it in front of her camera, or in front of her phone there, and she takes pictures in front of iconic Chicago locations. And here's my perfectly proportioned W flag. You know, back at the end of the First World, World War, the Wrigley family who owned the Cubs at that time, they also owned something called Wilmington Transportation, and it had a logo that kind of sort of looked like this. But uh, I like to think that uh, this just stands for wins for the Cubs, and let's hope they win every single game they have in front of them, making it all the way uh, to being victorious in the World Series. So reporting live from the loop with my W flag, I'm Vince Gerasoli, <laughs> CBS 2 News. It's always a good day when the W's flying, it Vince. Thank you. It certainly is.